2023 is truly an explosive year for SpaceX's Starship project. This rocket is gradually proving its strength. On November 18th, SpaceX conducted Starship's second orbital test flight. And after each such mission, they create new steps in their massive track record. Meanwhile, with a company that always claims to be the biggest competitor of SpaceX, Blue Origin, everything doesn't have too many changes compared to many past years, especially with their trump card, New Glenn. It was thought that after SpaceX's flight, Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin would do something or have some response. But as we see, nothing happens. They remain in the familiar silence. So why had they not taken any action? How did SpaceX's recent flight make a humiliation for Blue Origin? Let's find out in today's episode. Honestly, the fact that SpaceX was able to relaunch the second Starship flight just seven months after the first is still quite unbelievable. But it was the truth. Besides faster working processes from government agencies, the factor that creates this rapid process comes from the efforts of SpaceX's leaders, engineers, and employees. After the April flight, SpaceX faced many problems, notably the launch system, separation process, and the engine. Moreover, there are a lot of other problems that take them months to change and upgrade. In addition, they also had to deal with environmental issues, the biggest barrier to the approval of the recent flight. But seven months of hard work was not wasted. Over 1,000 changes have been made, important upgrades have appeared, and corrective actions have been completed. The license for the Starship's second orbital test flight from the FAA is a worthy reward for SpaceX's efforts. After everything was confirmed, more than ever, we saw an exciting atmosphere at Starbase. On the morning of November 18th, Starship officially lifted off. The flight lasted more than eight minutes, reaching an altitude of 148 kilometers. Unfortunately, the mission ends after the explosions of the two stages. Although Starship had not been able to achieve goals like reaching orbit and landing, this flight can still be considered a success for SpaceX because it has made many great strides compared to the first flight. In particular, the three biggest problems, including the engine, launch system, and separation process, are three factors that viewers are highly paying attention to before and during the flight. And SpaceX did not disappoint. The launch system, with the addition of the water deluge system, worked very effectively. It prevented the damage from the engine's huge thrust, protecting the safety of the launch system as well as the surrounding infrastructure. After the first flight, both Elon Musk and SpaceX confirmed that the launch system had no serious damage. Especially, the water deluge system would not need to take any refurbishment. Perhaps they just needed a small upgrade with the ship QD arm on the launch tower, so they can be ready for the next activities. The engine also operated more stably, even perfectly in the first two minutes before the booster separated from Starship. That is a big success compared to the previous flight. The separation mechanism also worked well for the first time the hot staging mechanism was applied, helping Starship overcome the stage that was considered to be the main reason leading to the end of the first flight. Those are important successes that SpaceX achieved in the recent flight. In the coming time, they'll definitely speed up in solving the problems that appeared in the last flight, like problems with booster, Starship, engine stability, and more. To stimulate more motivation, Elon Musk recently shocked us with a new revelation. What is that? Yeah, that's the revelation for the third flight. On November 19th, more than a day after the last flight, Elon tweeted, Starship Flight 3 hardware should be ready to fly in three to four weeks. There are three ships in final production in the high bay, as can be seen from the highway. It's so crazy with SpaceX's preparations. With that new revelation along with the Starship IFT-2 launch did not cause as many negative effects as the first flight. Perhaps we can gradually think about the Starship IFT-3 flight. Contrary to the excitement that SpaceX has created for the aerospace industry, in recent times, we can see that Blue Origin remains in their famous silent style. After the flight, many people sent congratulations and encouragement to SpaceX, especially NASA officials. Even the China National Space Administration also posted a tweet to congratulate SpaceX. However, we have not seen any reaction from Jeff Bezos or Blue Origin's leaders. This is understandable because they can do nothing but stay silent and watch their opponents achieve new successes with jealousy. New Glenn has gone through many years of development. This project was also revealed around the same time as SpaceX introduced the original project, which was later renamed Starship as we know today. However, SpaceX has conducted many test flights with Starship versions since 2019, notably two Starship integrated test flights this year. 
Meanwhile, Blue Origin has not been able to complete its first prototype yet after more than 10 years of development. A few months ago, a rare picture inside Blue Origin's factory appeared with many components showing that they were preparing for something. Next, we also have a few more images of NASA and ULA President Tori Bruno's visit to the Blue Origin factory. Earlier this month, an account named Greg Scott revealed another image on X showing a tank standing inside a TCAT building at Blue Origin facilities in Cape Canaveral. We can see a machine that is working on the task. Perhaps it is in the process of installing domes for this component. That's everything that we can know about Blue Origin. These images also do not show New Glenn's specific progress. Blue Origin had planned to launch the first flight of New Glenn in 2024. However, 2023 is coming to an end, but the first New Glenn complete prototype has not yet been released. So, it is difficult to answer the question of how Blue Origin can achieve its goals. In addition, Blue Origin struggling with New Shepard. It's been more than a year since its failed flight last September. Two months ago, the FAA can close the investigation into New Shepard's failure and requested 21 corrective actions. Blue Origin is confident that it can fulfill those requirements and relaunch New Shepard soon. If everything goes as well as they claim, New Shepard could have a comeback before SpaceX launched Starship. But as we can see, Starship IFT-2 had launched. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's small pride has not made any progress since then. While still struggling with its rockets, Blue Origin is also aiming to acquire ULA. It's unclear what the real purpose of this action is, but we can predict that this deal is to help increase the competition with SpaceX. Acquiring a large corporation like ULA will help Blue Origin expand its power. But perhaps the main target is Vulcan. This rocket is scheduled to launch this Christmas. Compared to New Glenn, Vulcan clearly has a more significant hope of reaching orbit. That once again exposed the weakness of Blue Origin's rocket. New Glenn was designed to compete with SpaceX rockets. But they even probably couldn't believe in their trump card, so they had to find available resources from outside. It would even become a farce if they couldn't buy ULA. At that time, they'll return to their factories to continue the work that's lasted more than a decade. Perhaps the result of the competition between these two companies is clear. The distance between them and the race is getting further and further. Based on the recent flight, SpaceX will definitely continue to accelerate the Starship project. Launches will take place more frequently and stronger. They'll never stop thrusting to reach goals like orbit, the moon, or Mars soon. Soon, Starship will join SpaceX's invincible orbital fleet along with strong vehicles like Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, Dragon, and Starlink. Blue Origin, on the other hand, will probably continue to struggle with rockets and projects behind the doors of their factory. New Shepard has not come back yet. New Glenn, they developed for more than a decade, and it's still sleeping peacefully in its nest. And it's unclear when this rocket can break the cocoon to fly upward. There's no basis for Blue Origin to compete with SpaceX right now. Silent. That's right. Perhaps Blue Origin has nothing more to say at this time because all the glory is going to SpaceX. As for you, what do you think about the current situation of Blue Origin after SpaceX's success? Please leave your opinion in the comments section below. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.